I'm gonna That'd play awesome. Gerard Golgari Lichlord. I've been keeping I... track. I've played this deck 12 times, and I've won with it three times this year. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, how many times? 12 times. And how many times did you win? Three. Nice. That's that's the perfect ratio, technically. Is it a quarter of the time you win with your deck? So, I mean, in a pot of four. Yeah. So Gerard goes on a Witch Lord ah. is a 2-2 two, two elf zombie for black, black, green, green. It gets plus one, plus one for each creature in my graveyard. And how I pay three, essentially I get to fling a creature. I sacrifice a creature, and each opponent takes damage equal to that creature's power. And then I can sacrifice a swamp and a forest and return Gerard from my graveyard to my hand. Yes, Alkalite, this is a, you know, unsleeved mid-power. <laughs> I, am, I am going to be playing Morophon the Boundless. Uh, he's a 6-6 six, six shapeshifter for 7, generic. Um, enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Who knows what creature type I'm going to choose. Uh, of spells of the chosen type cost Wooberg less to cast. Only reduces the colored mana, and other creatures I control of the chosen type will get plus 1, plus 1. Okay, I am playing Gallia of the Endless Day. She is a uh, satyr, 2-2 two, two, with haste. Other satyrs I control get plus one, plus one, and have haste. That's not as important as whenever you attack with three or more creatures, I can discard a card at random. If I do, I get to draw two cards. And I am playing Crufix God of Horizons for three and a green and a blue. It's a 4-7 and God, so it's indestructible. Small's devotion to Simic is less than seven. He is a creature, but uh, he gives me no maximum hand size. And if I would lose unspent mana, that mana becomes colorless instead. This is a semi-group hug, uh, group hug crew fix. It's not an Eldrazi crew fix like your typical crew fix decks. Eldrazi group hug. Is that what you said? No, I said it's not an Eldrazi crew fix deck. Oh, he was like, that's not fun. <laughs> <laughs> I roll for first. Yes. Ooh, I just got Five. 12. I'm cool with that. Second works for me. I got a six. I gotta get dice back at. Here's one. Alright, I got a seven. So Andy is first, as expected, with that 12. <laughs> with, with the 12, <laughs> I have to keep this hand. It's a very slow one. I will uh, I'm going to take my first mulligan. Okay. Oh, this hand would be so good. <laughs> <laughs> it's This would be the riskiest keep. In the Risky. Oh, you know what? I've got three lands I can keep. Chad is saying that, Coil, your deck is everything tribal and not to believe you. Yeah, it is an everything deck. tribal. It's an everything bagel. It, a big, I mean, it is also a big man. So I do have some X spells in here um, because Morophon costs a lot of mana. So I figured, why not do other payoffs that cost a lot of mana? I like attacking with creatures. <laughs> this, this deck wins by attacking. Yep, I'm keeping my it. hand, I, I do like it. Um, This is technically a playable hand, so I will keep it. I'm keeping my second hand. Because I, I, I would normally keep it. I shouldn't say because I have to. I do have to, but um, I, I would normally keep it as well. Kyle doesn't believe me. This is a Crufix Big Mana hug. Oh, Chris. Oh, don't believe Chris. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Chris, you said you liked your hand. Coil, you like yours. Yes. Dan, do you like yep. yours? Yep. All right. Then I will go I'm ahead and to go. start. Draw. I'm going to play Desert of the Glorified Tapped, and I pass. I will draw for turn. I will play a Seaside Citadel Tapped and pass. Okay. I will draw. I will play a Misty. I'm going to search for a Dual land and play a library lane. Go down okay. to 39. And pass nice. the turn. Draw my card. Uh, I, I will play. 
Increase a flooded str uh, <laughs> flooded grove, and then I will pass turn. Chris, stay at two life. Yeah, draw. <laughs> you play a tranquil thicket tapped, and I pass the turn. I will untap, and I will draw for turn. I will play a blighted woodland as my land for turn, and pass. Okay, let me shuffle in for my my fetch. That library of Lang is really good in that deck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a really good. <laughs> you don't say. That's that that synergy is like. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> okay, I shall play a forest, and uh, I shall. Pass the turn. Okay. I'll draw my card for the turn. <clears throat> I will play a Yavamaya Coast. And then I will uh, pass the turn. Turn tap. Draw. I will play a forest. And then I will pass the turn. I will draw for turn. And I haven't drawn another land yet, so I am forced to play. This is my land drop for turn. I'm going to play an Urza's Power Plant. Ooh. Um, That's actually almost worse than the Temple of Walska. <laughs> it still taps for a colorless. That is true. Um, that's... You know, we're going to start uh, filtering the lands off the top of my deck, because that's how this card works. I'm going to play a Descendant's Path. Okay. And nice. pass the turn. I'm going to... Flashing Wild Boar Preserver. He's a Alpha Archer with Flash and Reach. Whenever a non-human creature enters the battlefield under my control, I may pay X. When I do, put X plus one plus one counters on Wild Boar Preserver. All right. And uh, so I shall play a Mountain. Tap all three. Cast Gallia. Put a plus one plus one counter with the extra mana on there. And uh, I think uh, Chris is going to take five. Interesting. All right. <laughs> oh, she has haste too. I forgot about that. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's real good. <laughs> and then I shall pass the turn. All right. At the end of your turn, I'm going to take a damage to tap my Yavamai Coast for blue. And uh, go 34 to filter uh, into a blue and a green for my flooded for my flooded grove. I'm gonna cast growth spiral, and draw a card, and then I'm gonna put a land on the battlefield. So I'll put alchemist refuge onto the battlefield. Very nice. Seems like a pretty decent card. Hey, Majin, is your is your um, little tray there done by draw um, my card for the game, game jester? Yes. Nice. Those are really cool. I thought about getting those as Christmas presents for a bunch of people last year, and I just I, didn't order I got one time. for each of my kids. That's great. Well, actually, uh, four of the kids. Uh, um, my twins, they don't play yet, so I didn't get them one. Uh, I'm going to pay three, and I'm going to cast Kodama's Reach. Reach. And then I'll pass her. All right. Rampy, um, rampy, rampy. I'd take a Kodama's Reach off the top right now. It'd be awesome. <laughs> um, at the end of turn, I'm gonna putrefy Galia. Okay. And then untap. And uh, I'm gonna put an island in the play tap and a force, get a force and put it in my hands. All right, I'm gonna draw. I will play a forest, and then I'm gonna play a Golgari signet. Mm -hmm. And then I will also pass the turn i will untap at my upkeep uh, i will reveal the top card of my library i'm going to reveal an island and since that does not share a it's not a creature that shares a creature type with the creature i control i may put i i have to put it on the bottom of my library and if i miss my land drop because of that i'll be upset i'll <laughs> play a mountain for turn hey. <laughs> got there okay <laughs> Um, Andy might be holding up removal, but I'm gonna do this anyways. I'm gonna play a smothering. Not okay. I don't remember. And then I will that. move to end step. We okay. are in significant danger. 
<laughs> I, this isn't my wheels deck. It doesn't matter. Like, any Morphon, deck from a smothering tithe. It's, it's the, not as good. And then, and then he plays the first sliver and so, then gets his three slivers, so, and that's so how every Dan, game with that goes. I, no, you get you get it. Get, okay. get your stop asking. <laughs> <laughs> I want to play Sunder Giant or oh, Shaman. He's a giant shaman. Mm -hmm. Can't be blocked by more than one creature, and whenever it deals combat damage to a target. Chairman, that player controls. Yeah, that's really good. And uh, I think Mr. Did you pay the two is going to get. Uh... I didn't even get a chance to say it, but I totally understand. <laughs> you're, you're, you're taking 30. 37. <laughs> and uh, I will pass the turn. Okay, I will untap. Draw my card for the turn. Um, you may draw your card. No, just I just. Or I get your sorry. Yeah, I always do that. I'm like I'm so used to Rhystic study. Yeah. Uh, being I play that the, in here too. <laughs> I'm gonna pay five and I'm gonna cast. Crooks. Yeah. And then after that, I pass her. All right. Untap. Uh, draw. I will. Um, not pay. Nope. Um, I'm going to play Svargoth, the Relentless Tomb. Doesn't do anything for me right now. Because <laughs> um, I have zero creatures in my graveyard. <laughs> I will... Uh... What do I do? I don't have that. I don't have that. I guess just to get a creature out... I play a necrotic ooze and I pass oh. the turn. Okay. I will untap at my upkeep. I will reveal the top card of my library. It is an enlightened tutor. <laughs> Ooh, very and good. then I will draw for turn. Um, I will play a path of ancestry as my land for turn. Yeah. It enters tapped. I didn't realize that. Yeah. It's got too much upside to not in, to not enter tapped, I think, at least. Um, you know, I haven't played this card before, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, use one treasure and tap four other mana to mm -hmm. cast a Golos Tireless Pilgrim. Oh, nice. Hmm. Uh, when enters the battlefield, I may search my library for a land, put that card onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle my library. Am I going to go find a piece of Tron? <laughs> Goal is a 4. He's a 3-5. Oh, 3-5. Uh, I think I'm just going to grab an Ancient too, And then that will be the end of my turn. Okay. I shall untap. I shall give you a treasure token. I shall pay four mana. Let's get some Gallia action going. Gallia. I'm going to play a <clears throat> Caustic Caterpillar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. And I shall move to combat. And mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Ridiculous Morpheon. I haven't even cast Morphine. No, he's coming. He's coming. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to attack you. I'm going to trigger. Yep. Since I'm attacking you, you get to decide which card. I shall middle one. To middle middle one. one. I'm going to discard it to the top of my deck. <laughs> you, didn't even, you didn't even see it? You like all three of your cards, though? So what, um, are, what are you discarding for again? I forget what, what you're discarding for. Galia, what does she do? Yeah, whenever you attack with three or more creatures, I... Oh, sorry, you cut out there. I get to draw two cards if I discard one. Oh, nice. Oh, that's wonderful. <clears throat> so you get two more little triggers. Beautiful. Um, your shaman. 
<laughs> when he deals damage, you get to destroy. Is it an artifact or enchantment, or just yes. an artifact? Either or. Uh, it's a disenchant. I, I will put Golos Tireless Pilgrim in front of your shaman. Okay. You and what's what? its power and toughness? It didn't even ask, but. <laughs> it's a 5 5. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My Golos will die. <laughs> and uh, you will take three, four, five. I go down to 32. And uh, I shall pass the turn okay. to Chris. We'll untap and draw my card for the turn. Tr trigger? Uh, you may get your treasure. I will pay two. Uh, I'll pay a colorless and a colorless Oop. for an arcane signet. Ooh. And then pass turn. All right. Untap. Hissing Quagmire. Tapped. Like how Andy's just... <laughs> like how I'm what? <laughs> Sitting there all innocent. I, I really don't have a whole lot going on. Um, I'm going to... Play... He's in there. He's in there innocent. I'm doing nothing. Just He's got the Krakus. He might yeah, you he's... never know when you never know when a uh, Phyrexian Devourer is going to randomly just pop into the graveyard. Gerard Golgaria Lich Lord. Well, you can't cast anything because you've got three blue mana up. So, <laughs> um, well, it does have a, it does have the ability oh. of Golos. I'm sorry, Andy. Did you pay for your draw trigger? No, it has the ability of all creatures in graveyards. But you have to pay least. how much for Golos? Yeah, uh, two and Wooberg. Oh, yeah, I can't do that. I ain't got that ability. Um, well, I will move to combat, and Coil, I'll mm -hmm. swing at you for four. I'll take four. <laughs> 28. Pass turn. I will untap. I just assume we're going to see your slivers, and it's just going to, like, at my, havoc happens in, like, seconds. At my upkeep, I will Crossroads, and then 17 reveal slivers. Myriad landscape. Mirrored landscape goes to the bottom of my library. Are you laughing because oh. it's going to happen this turn? I'm not laughing at all. Oh, <laughs> you sounded like you were like laughing as you were talking. I will draw my card for turn. Uh, play a Vivid Creek as my land for turn. Uh huh. Comes in with two charge counters. Yep. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. <clears throat> Let's do this. We're going to do a red, a green, and a um, generic mana to cast a Rhythm of the Wild. <laughs> uh huh. So now creature spells I control can't be countered. Yep. They also yeah. have riot. I was about to say the riot's mm -hmm. probably more. Uh... <laughs> the riot's pretty nice, not gonna lie. Um hmm. let's do I'm gonna take two for the ancient tomb. Three, four, five, six, seven. Um to cast my commander. Right on to twenty-six. I'll cast my commander. Riot trigger. Um, I I actually have a, a scry trigger first from my path of ancestry. So I'll scry one. Mm -hmm. I'll put that card to the bottom. Riot trigger. I will choose to put a plus one plus one counter on Morophon. Um, Morophon trigger. I am going to name uh, Nephilim. As my creature type. Mm -hmm. I am going to cast a Your Tiller Nephilim <laughs> for free. <laughs> um, it is a 2-2. It says whenever it attacks, return target creature card from your graveyard to play tapped and attacking. 
Um, I will choose to give your Tiller Nephilim haste until end of turn. Or it's just haste. Or he has riot, so he gets haste. Yeah. I don't know if that's permanent haste or not, but um, what is Caustic Caterpillar's power toughness? 1-1. One, one. I am going to move to combat. Okay. I will swing your... I will declare your Tiller Nephilim as an attacker. Dan. Okay. Attack trigger. I will have Golos Tireless Pilgrim enter the battlefield, also attacking you. Okay. And then Golos ETB trigger. Uh, Riot trigger. I'll put a plus one plus one counter on him. And then... Uh, I'll go find a land and put it on the battlefield. I'll find um, Temple so of the False God. That's seven total, right? It will be six total. Uh, no, seven. I'm sorry. You're right. Because the your tiller gets pumped by Morophon. And then I will um, move to end step after that. Okay. My turn. Mm-hmm. Okay. I shall untap. I shall draw and not pay. Dang it, I was kind of hoping it was a land. Uh, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna play uh, called to the hunt, Renetta. Mm. Great she she's a one two three four five six seven, a seven three right now. And uh, each other creature I control enters the battlefield. Counter. Up. Okay, I am going to. Attack. Uh, worm coil. <laughs> yep. Okay. Um, I will. Trigger. Oh. Yeah. No. Go ahead. You have attack triggers. Um, you can choose this time. I can oh. again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can choose again. All the way on the right, right, right under your thumb. Okay. Um. I'll discard him. It's Grun, the Lonely King. Okay. He's lonely in the graveyard. I get two, two uh, triggers for your little scheme of <laughs> I <like> treasures. <laughs> um, going to blocks? Yep. I will declare Morophon as a blocker on your Shaman. Okay. So Morophon is a 7-7. Seven, seven. Yep. And my Shaman dies five again i'm down to 21 and this is now down to five okay second main step play a mountain mm -hmm. uh, i'm gonna play two and i'm gonna play uh to whatever summoner oh telenology or whatever telenology or human shaman so i have city's blossom okay. uh, and then whenever she attacks i can pay x and a red if i do create x one one elemental tokens that are tapped and attacking beginning of my next end step x all those tokens unless i have this uh city's blessing yeah. And then uh, I shall uh, pass the turn. All right. Um, at the end of Dan's turn, I'm going to prove to Kyle that this is a group hug deck. I'm going to pay <laughs> uh, green into the flooded strand for two blue and a blue. And I'm going to flash in Dictative Crucifix. Mm -hmm. um, so it's an enchantment for one and two, one and two blue. It says beginning of each player's draw step, that player draws an additional card. Maybe I'll draw a land. And then I'm going to tap Arcane Signet uh, to float a mana. And then um, at the end of turn, that's going to turn into a colorless mana floating thanks to Crux. Mm -hmm. I'm just keep that there. Keep tapping my colorless mana. 
Then now untap. Kyle did make a good point. I mean, Krufix has so many arms. A group hug <laughs> with just just it's from a, Krufix. He has just enough arms for one of those bro hugs. <laughs> <laughs> for everyone <laughs> everyone gets it bro and then I'll draw uh, my first card for the turn and my second uh, coil you get your both of your uh, treasures oh my goodness. cool I'm oh. going to play a forest and then I'm going to pay I'm going to use the one floating a green and a blue. I'm going to cast um, Oko, Thief of Crowns. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm. Look at those abs. Those abs for days. <laughs> um, like I'm going to plus one Oko. And I'm going to turn Golos into a 3 3 elk. It's actually a 4 4. Yeah, he has a plus one, plus one counter on it. Oh, so yeah. So be a four, four. Four. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking about whether I should uh, activate his ability right now or not. So I have to follow all normal um, casting timings with mm -hmm. his ability is what it, is how I read it. What is his ability even? I don't even have so, cast so it. So two in Wooburg, exile the top three cards of your library. You may play them this turn without paying them. Oh, I thought costs. you said Morophon's ability. Never mind. Oh, no, like, go Okay. Yeah, you, yeah. <clears throat> um, Golos is is a three three elk with a plus one plus one counter on it. Okay. Does it uh, retain its its creature types, or does it only become an elk now? It is not, it's not only an elk, but it, it it's an elk named Golos. It is like it keeps its name and everything. It's just now creature type elk three three no abilities. Yes. Think, yeah, okay. it's still legendary. But... Okay. Um, after that, I will. Mm -hmm -hmm. So you got more fun, and you got that. Uh, I'll pass the turn. All right. Just remember, guys, I'm helping. Okay. Crufix is giving everyone a helping I'm, hand. I'm not paying, so I'm going to draw two. Still did not get a land. Ah. Um. I will play. Three, four. For Gerard's orders, I search for two creatures, put one into my hand and one into my graveyard. Cool. All right. Is this a combo win right here? I'm going to try. I'm going to put Phyrexian Devourer in my graveyard. And I'm going to put, um, uh, um, what do I put in my hand? That's the question. Um, a... Phyrexia and Dreadnought in my hand. Oh. Um, I, am I was thinking it was going to be a walking blue. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to activate my Phyrexia and Devourer's ability off of Necrotic Ooze and hold priority. And I'm going to, I'm just going to keep doing it. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty six, twenty eight, 
29, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 10, 38, 39, 40, 40, 43 times. So 43 plus one plus one counters. And then sacrifice my necrotic ooze. I pass priority. <laughs> <laughs> what are you sacrificing it to? My Gerard's ability. Oh, that's right. I totally forgot that even has an ability. I mean, I can't. I'm tapped out. <laughs> I mean, I should just counter the Gerard's. I wasn't even thinking about comboing out already, but that's um. I so I can't respond to it. So I pass priority. Yeah, you win, Andy. That's a fling for forty. 47 damage on each opponent. You got it. You got oh, it. Oh, my goodness.